Hi everyone, Chelsea here. Now I know reading isn't everybody's cup of tea, which is why I think short stories are so important. They're great for those of you who either don't have the time or just can't really get into longer novels. And like longer books, short stories come in a variety of genres, ranging anywhere from the popular horror, like Alvin Schwartz's Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, and Margot Lanigan's Black Juice. Now this book in particular comes with 10 short stories, most of which are realistic fiction, although there are a couple of fantasy thrown in. And as you can see, it's not particularly long, but I still found the stories of them to be of excellent quality. Now due to the time constraints, I'm only going to be able to talk about one story for today, but hopefully that'll be enough to catch your interest to read the rest of the book for yourself. Now the story that caught my attention the most was called Sweet Pippet which is about a group of elephants that give Hora rides, which is a very pretty popular form of tourist attraction in southern Asia. Now, in the upper right-hand corner of the video, there's going to be a link to um, another video that talks about Taiwanese Hora rides, but it'll give you more of a general background uh, to understand the story a little bit better, I think. Uh, however, I will give a warning that the video that this is linked to contains graphic depictions of violence and animal abuse. So if you're squeamish, then, you know, um, just a heads up for that. Now, what really caught my attention about this story in particular is the fact that it's told from the perspective of the elephant, which I'll just do um, a quick excerpt to give you an idea of what that might sound like. We brush aside the wooden gatehouse if it were a plaything we had tired of, and the other animals remained calm. Gurulum tumbled it to sticks, and our feet crushed it to dust. Above the dark and swollen river of our rage, my delight in our badness hung briefly bright. His name was something like Pippet. It was too short for our ears to catch, as all people names are. Twig snaps and bird cheeps they finish before they properly start. But his smell was a lasting thing, as was his hand. Pippet of all people could tell badness from sickness as we could, uh, and he would know that this was our only choice. He who could fill us with the word, whose slender murmuring soothed us when all other voices were too high and maddening who swept fearless among our feet and rode us without spear or switch, whom we missed in our rage of missing, ever since he had been taken from us to somewhere in the dark outworld. Gurlum Boom spoke through her forehead wonderingly, how our minds had become circle-shaped from all our circling, squared from pacing that square. Once we were wild, but I fear I have wildness no more, Boom Boom. Maybe wildness has died in my blood, my feet can move only in circle and square. What are we to do for water and for food, Mother, and how are we to know where to find our sweet Pippet? Now, the general context of the story is that Pippet was the only human handler these elephants had who treated them with respect. Um, and after he was transferred away from them, they decided to escape in order to find him. Um, and what really stuck with me about this story was just how heartbreaking and how haunting the elephant's perspective was. Um, and it deals a lot with you know, what makes us human and what is humanity, as well as issues of morality, which are very deep themes for such a short story to cover. Now, um, Black Juice is also a Prince Honor award-winning book, and if you're interested in Margot Lanigan's other work, she also has Yellow Cake, Red Spikes, and her newest book, which only came out in uh, 2012, Cracklescape. So thank you guys for joining me, and hopefully I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye-bye!